But without further ado, man, let's get to it. Welcome to another episode of Interviews with the Forum Magazine, man. And today, we got a special guest, man. He ain't new to the platform, man. Back for the second time, my guy, Mike. Mike, what's going on, bro? What's on the flow, man? Just working, working, and working. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You feel me? Bro yeah. just came in. You know what I mean? And no sleep. No sleep and getting to it, man. What your what your day's been like since you since you touched back down to the city? Uh, let's see, man. Saturday, you know, Saturday I touched probably like 6, 7 at night. Instantly did my birthday party up at Views. It went bananas. The next day I woke up. The interview with Street Lure Radio, interview with Wall Street for my fair vacation. Went to sleep, woke up, did a video shoot with me and Jay Nutty. We got a song called Sliders dropping on Halloween. Boom, now here we go again. I'm in here. So yeah, every day being put to use in a positive way. We're keeping everything going, you know? 100, 100, man. What's been the like the the, the recent uh, spark and you kind of wanting to put this run together and really go full throttle with it? Man, if I've been talking to Pesh heavy every day, and you know what I'm saying, bro, just like, like man, shit, go. Mm -hmm. and he like, shit, don't even, wait, don't even wait on no niggas, just go. Oh, facts, so, facts. Yeah, it's like, I got to make sure it's, it's right here for when he touches back. For sure. How bro holding up, you know what I mean? And I know yeah. since last time we, you know, we talked, you said he was doing good. I assume he's still, yeah. you know, holding it down. But just in them recent conversations, what, what bro been on? Man, bro, he's only focused on his appeal, getting money, and music. I don't know if everybody people, man. I've been dropping since he's been in there. Last song we dropped was called Goodfellas. Mm. It's nasty. Yeah, niggas gotta check that out too. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Um, you say you working on you actually working on a project? No, it ain't it ain't gonna really be a project. It's gonna be more of a more of a string of singles. I'm gonna do Mike Mike Mondays starting that. After after Halloween, I'm about to drop every Monday, single every Monday. All oh, pressure. So give people something to look forward to in. For people who don't know what I got going on, they can catch up and understand what i be talking about with this talent no doubt what the um what, what you looking like on the production side who you who you been really logging in with on the production Man, i want to say z5 was a dude named z5 i've been fucking with uh, outside of that i really been on youtube bro mm -hmm. i ain't gonna lie i've been leasing beats like crazy would you say low key though it's it's a little better for you to to go that route because you can yeah. literally select what you want yeah. and you don't really have to deal with the luck of the draw dealing yeah. with a, a producer, you know what I mean? That's just giving you, what, five to ten songs yeah. and you just got to, you know what I mean, make it, actually, it work. It actually is better like that for me personally because, I don't know, for me it's like when I when I get a beat pack from a producer, it's like they send me a type of beat that they think I want. and It, ain't, it don't be really like, you just know what I want. No, that ain't even what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Even if I tell them what I'm looking for, they still send me a certain sound and I, get, I just go the whole other way. That's why I like YouTube. I can go in there and just figure it out. For sure. For sure, for sure. In, in terms of, um, in terms of what you would describe your sound, you feel me now, like entering into Ooh. this phase that you in right now, um, how would you describe that sound? Man, serious, very, very, extremely serious. Because I'm taking everything I'm doing extremely serious. Like it ain't fun for me no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying it's, it ain't about fun no more. I mm. just I feel like I got something to say, and I need yeah. I'm going to make y'all hear it. Real talk, real talk. And, and even even in your music, bro, like you always been, you know, and what I would like to, even since the beginning when you came out, you mm -hmm. feel me? We got a lot of people that's the voice of the streets, but mm -hmm. somebody that's actually been through the mud, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Somebody that actually done, you know, rose from the ashes, done, you know, done had your trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, to be in a position that you in right now to mm -hmm. tell these stories and stuff like that. Like how important is conveying that realism? You know what I mean? Conveying it's, that message in your music. How important is that to you? Extremely important, cause you know what I'm saying. I rap about a lot of negative shit, but it's not. I'm rapping about it to explain what's going on. Like it's cause and effect. You know what I'm saying? It's ups and downs to everything. Cause you know what I'm saying. Everybody always talk to you about the jury and all this shit. I talk to you about everything. Like shit, I done been fucked up. I done been working jobs. Dude, I done bounce back. I done, I done went to prison, came back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got to explain it so people understand the entire, how can I say it, the entire outlook of the streets. It's not just all good. It's damn near more bad than good. Mm. Nah, that's that's real. That's real talk. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in terms of like, worst moments you feel me in life and and that's just for a person that might be out there you know that may be watching this interview and kind of look at you as a source of inspiration 
and may want to, you know, kind of get an idea of maybe like some of the darkest times in your life that you had to overcome. What would you say since you've been home? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like one of the darkest moments you had. Since I've been home, bro, I would have to say, uh, just when a nigga fall off and you bounce back, you go back down to zero. You got to go work a job with like a regular motherfucker again. Like, nigga felt some type of way. Like, shit, let me snap back. I got to get back to me. I'm tripping. For sure. <laughs> so ain't, shit, ain't shit worse than to have to uh, live check to check. Mm. No, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 that's real, though. Shoot, I and being honest, shit, I know about it. So I yeah. I, I feel you 100%. Um, yeah. and, in terms of, uh, like, even with that process, like, what would you contribute to, or what would you attribute a fall off to? Is it mismanaging money is it taking risks taking chances and shit just not falling in place the way that you want it to i mean overall overall it's bad it was bad money management mm. but behind that is shit it's taking chances me fucking with this music i'm dumping so much into the music but ain't making that much back nigga shooting a twenty thousand dollar video and that motherfucker ain't bringing shit back you know what i'm mm. saying it was bad investments that's why i say overall it comes to bad money management how I, one of the one of the uh ones that stood out was um uh what was that song don't say nothing uh what is it uh something of the streets oh, uh yeah. yep. elements of the streets elements of the streets uh -huh. um that was like a a a, a real big record for you and the streets yeah. kind of responded to it to it you yeah. know what i mean um sometimes on social media we get that love and we get that influx, people comment and all of that, but mm -hmm. the translation into actually, like you say, mm -hmm. making money yeah. from the record. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Was you able to like recuperate? I mean, recoup some type of funds from that record specifically? Yeah, but not and, nowhere near what we spent on that motherfucker. Right, right. Nowhere near it. But yeah, we made some cheap, but it's like the most money, I, I, my streaming money be cool, but I make more money from the prisons. Mm. Motherfuckers who purchase my music in jail. Man, how important is that? Cause I ain't gonna lie, like with that, with that J Pay and uh, that's that, that's everything for me. Cause that, that's that's like back in the day when you used to you sell a song, you get this amount of money. That's uh, what it is. They ain't streaming, they purchasing. Uh, so that's really that for real. That's really my main focus right now. Damn, that's game right there. Uh, you know what I mean? I think I I don't think a lot of artists out here really uh, take that aspect of the music serious uh, and making sure you know the guys get it. That's behind got the to. wall. Got to. When they, when you think about it, like they're going to buy it. They ain't yeah. got nothing else to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they definitely gonna get anything that's new mm -hmm. that come from the city that hit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that they player. Tap in. They gonna tap in. Yeah. So for everybody out there that's you know trying to figure out a way to make some money, you know what I mean? Get yeah. your get your music in the in the joint. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and and it's definitely gonna gonna pay off. Yeah, that's what that check coming in at. For sure. In terms of your uh, like your your moves that you making, you know, entering into the fourth quarter. I believe we are already in the fourth quarter. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. Um, what's the what's the what's the goal? You know, what I mean, like I see you going on this uh promo run. I think you said you got something going on tonight at Sloppy Crab, right? Uh, uh, I mean, well, right now uh, was, these parties just came. It just came because my birthday came around at the oh, same gotcha, time. Got gotcha. you. But. Uh, I'm definitely because I'm trying to be more visible and let people into my life a little bit more, let them understand what's going on. But like I say, Mike Mike Mondays is my whole focus. Mm -hmm. Single after single after single after single, just pushing it in their face. Eat this, eat this. You know the goal is to always get a deal, but shit, my my goal is just get a meal. Mm. Real talk. My dog stay talk spicy <laughs> for real. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with him? Hey. <laughs> he yeah. always talking <laughs> slick and spicy though. Real Detroit shit, man. Yeah, too. Uh, and, and when in terms of um, um, in terms of like you say, okay, you you about to do the uh, Mike Mike Mondays mm -hmm. from a marketing standpoint, you know, somebody I, I, in an interview somebody said ninety percent of the uh, of the work is marketing and ten percent is it the is. music. It is. My question is, would you agree with that? And if so, from a scale of one to five. Where do you see yourself currently? Like where you at in I, that scale? I ain't gonna. I, I definitely. I totally agree with it. And I, that's the part I feel like I need to fix. Is I feel like my marketing is horrible. I just know how to post. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? Posting ain't marketing though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta advertise to these platforms, run these Google ads, YouTube ads. You gotta get this shit out here in these people's face. But 
that's the part I'm trying to figure out. So where I feel like she would one be in the lowest, I might be at one. <laughs> for real. I'm trying to get trying to get to that five though. No, nah, for real. I and recognize it, the problem though. For real. In terms of the of the platforms, um, you know, you see a plethora of platforms that rose in Detroit mm -hmm. over the last few years. Um, what's your perspectives of the platforms? What are the platforms doing right? And what are they doing wrong? What are some of the things that can be developed, you know what I mean, to to assist artists out more and just in totality? Uh, like, I know every, everything is, you got to pay for advertisement. Some of these niggas be talking crazy, though. Like, nigga, give me 500 to post you. Like, hold on, bro. Come on, man. Y'all outrageous, bro. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a community. We gonna help each other. So fuck with each other. You know what I'm You ain't gotta whack no nigga for no 500, 1500, none of that shit. Fuck with niggas. Man, charge a nigga $100 sometime, man. No, nah, facts. facts. It's, it's real. No, nah, for real. No, I definitely understand where you coming from. And even, and even like with that, um, do you feel like, like, like what's some of the, okay, so that's one of the things that you feel like can do what are some of the things that they doing right in the city shit. hey i can shit. It look like they doing everything right bro because motherfuckers is looking at us and it ain't just artists doing that shit that's y'all doing that shit the platforms do they they amplifying everything we do they putting everything but i would like to see more positivity being highlighted mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying outside of just music and shit i want to see everything being highlighted uh, this nigga trying to do shit in that community. GT do shit, shit all the time. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to GT, man. He, yeah. he doing a hell of a job with this new project that he working on, yeah. man. It's going to podcast space, studio, yeah. like just the whole thing, man. So that that's that's definitely a, a good look mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, you know, with the... um. Uh, in terms of the platforms, I guess I had a, I had one question in mind. It kind of slipped my mind, but um, when you um, uh, I think it was more so the the, the importance of from an artist standpoint. Mm. Uh, oh, that's what I was about to say. You being a legend, right? Mm. Because you clearly a legend. You paid the way. You know what I mean. You um, was the voice of Detroit at a point in time where mm. it was just literally a handful of people that yeah. you could really pick from to, you know what I mean, really ride to and you you held that down. Mm -hmm. Um as a legend in Detroit culture, do you feel like do you feel a sense of entitlement, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to get posted or to, you know, like how do you play that? Because some of the OGs, some of the big homies, they may, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that they are, mm -hmm. but these is just thoughts. They may feel some type of way that, you know, a person may, a blogs may just be posting all of the popular people. You right. get what I'm saying, so to speak, or the people that's in now. Uh, what's your perspective on that? Like in general, how do you feel about that? Oh, do honestly, when I like when I first came to the crib, I felt like I like I just deserved it. But no, nah, now nah, you got. I'm looking at everything from a business perspective. They they, they built their platform to post and build their shit, and so, so everything business. So I don't feel like there's no obligation. You know what I'm saying? What's your price? I'm going to pay it, my nigga. That's what it is. Oh, I'm supporting y'all just like I want y'all to support me. A hundred percent. hundred percent. That's real, bro. And I feel like that's why you, that's why you is who you is. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's 100. I think one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is that this is a business. Right. And a person may be looking at it like, man, all you doing is posting, but a person taking their time. Well, then a lot you to paying, get that following. You paying for apps mm -hmm. that you got to pay every month to repost and put the tag on it mm -hmm. and do this. Got to create headline titles and you know what I mean? All of that type of stuff. So for you to have that perspective on it, man, that, that's solid and 100, man. Mm -hmm. And, and you know that that's something that should be acknowledged. Yeah, um, absolutely. In terms of like a uh, you know recent things, man, we had Natalie Nunn in the city, man. <laughs> yeah, <I'm over>. it's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was in the city, man, and um, you know it was a viral post going around, man. What you what you think about her, man? Talk about she, you know, she run the city. Do you think she was just? You know, how serious do you take that, or do you feel yeah. like Detroiters should have got on her ass like they did? Uh, I, I mean, if you look at that shit, man, she was high as hell. I just wish I was a nigga that was serving her. <laughs> <I'm> straight, <laughs> up. straight up, dog. 
For real. <laughs> it, it really it, it actually wasn't no big issue. It's a high ass woman talking shit. But everybody talk their shit when they get in they get in their little in the bag. You no, know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. And she was in the club too. I think from what I hear, she was trying to get uh smoke to keep the club yeah, open. Smoke put her in her place. Yeah, you oh, heard. Yeah. You heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These real Detroit boys. You better ask about them. Straight up, man. Yeah, Shout real. out to Smoke, man. Putting on the right way type yeah. shit. You know. Take that little honey. She talking about what you say. I got a hundred thousand. Keep it up, man. Nigga, I wipe my ass with the honey, baby. Real talk. <laughs> hey. Yeah, he did what he was supposed to do. I like how he played that though. Shut your ass up. You can't give me nothing. I got more money than you, for real. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Ain't about to risk my liquor license and all that shit for a hot night. Nah, and that's what it is. I, you know, you you thinking that you got a platform. What I guess what she don't know is, man, everybody from Detroit is celebrities. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. If <laughs> main you character just, syndrome. <laughs> real main talk. Character. I don't care who you is. You feel me? You somebody in the city. Flat you out. Me? Um, and then even with Jasmine Renee, man, she got an opportunity to be on Baddies Midwest. You know what I mean? Jazz gonna um, turn up on that bitch. Yeah. She gonna turn up. I already know it. Nah, that's 100, man. That's a good look, you know, for her to be on that on that type of platform. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, traveling city to city, representing Detroit. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a good person, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, to represent Detroit as a female. I somebody. can't wait to see it because she talks shit. No, nah, for sure. <laughs> And, and, and she ready to scrap, too. She, you feel you, me? You better beat them hoes' ass. I was saying beat all them hoes' ass. Don't let no bitch talk shit to you. I'm telling you, put on for us for real. Straight up. We had side guy Nicks in here or whatever. He was just, he was like, look, just go up top. Don't even talk. Don't even argue. Yeah. Yeah. None of that. Just go on t up top on mm -hmm. anybody that say something crazy. Yeah, straight to me? it. Straight up. Um... You said, have you seen the uh the thing with the um? It's a guy, I forget what city he from, but he um he was talking about dog shit, dog shit records, and he was basically I saying did see some shit. He was basically saying uh, hold on, let me let me try to find. I did see that some shit about that shit. I, I kind of breezed past it, but he definitely was saying some shit about what the fuck he said. Y'all niggas ain't even on dog shit records. Oh yeah, and it's crazy. It's cause it's poppy. You don't like signing the dog shit records, nigga. You not even signing the dog shit records, nigga. You don't got the chain. You don't got nothing, nigga. Like Peasy, Teasy, Greasley, Baby Face, Mike, the Baby, 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 Big, This Baby, That Baby, V's, P, Sneeze, all that shit. Like nigga, and you got what, nigga? I will slap the shit out one of you niggas, real life. Hey, yeah, that's yeah, fucked that's up. Lingo, bro, but come on, bro. Y'all niggas getting corny with this shit, bro. And that that's was disrespectful. Shit, nigga, like, put yeah. Blood, sweat, and tears behind it. What, what, what you think? Niggas might Who be... is dog? I don't know. That's RX Poppy. Nigga from Where New York. From? New York. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. it's that's crazy. Nigga, New York guys that be I was talking. just out there chilling with the nigga. Me and Bodie got a song with the nigga. <laughs> me oh, me wow. Bodie and Lil BoJ got a song with the nigga. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's wild as hell. He got he got kind of disrespectful though. He go, uh, somebody might have to pull up on his bumper. When you when you had an opportunity, <laughs> when you had an opportunity to work with him, when you was working with him though, like what was the vibe? Like you feel like he, he had was, respect for the city? Yeah, he was cool as hell. That's that just blew. That's mind boggling right there. Like damn, ain't he talking about I smack the shit out you niggas? Come on, man. Yeah, you took it too far. But then got no disrespect at the and the cat. I have no disrespect you talking about you go slap the shit out of the nigga. Yeah, you out of pocket. And niggas really is dog shit. Nigga, we got dog shit right here. Real talk. We invented dog shit, man. Yeah, and he got some smut on his name, though. That's another reason that song ain't come out. So I said, yeah, but since he got disrespect, well, I guess I can put it out there a little bit. I don't know if it's fact, though, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't cleared up, though. No, nah, for sure. He ain't cleared up. They saying you bold out there. And niggas saying he, I guess he supposed to be, I think he from upstate New York. So niggas ain't, you know, niggas in the inner city, like, nigga, fuck you. Nah, for real. And that's <laughs> that's the crazy part too, man, because I got a couple New York homies. You feel me? And I don't know, man. I got I got love for the New York, man. Shout out to everybody in New York, nah, man. Really, but I, I fuck with the boys. Hey, man, they be talking. Spy. I'm talking about aggressive as hell, though. Like that just blew my mind. He said, "I smacked the shit out." Hey, all other shit. That, that's the part that hit me. I smacked the shit out. You feel like niggas. that was cloud chasing, though? You feel like he was just, you know what I mean? Like, like he he, he, he might have had one of the moments where he was high and did that. No, <laughs> for, for real, real. <laughs> for real, though. Nah, for real. That's true. That's crazy to say you slap the shit out somebody and put no disrespect. No, no that's hella real. disrespect. Yeah. That's disrespectful to the motherfucker, nah, my nigga. Real.
And when you look at when you look on the like the music scene on the upcoming artist tip, man, you got um so you got a guy out of Lansing, 3200 Trey. Um you got all the money that's that's yeah, rising on the scene. I fuck with Doug. He be tripping. Uh it's this one female, bro. Uh I forget her name, but she just did a song with YBN Lil Bro, and I seen Babyface Ray retagging her. It's a female, but she she, you know, she, you know, on yeah. the on the man side. You feel me? Yeah. But you know, but she hard though. You yeah. feel me? Uh, I don't know if you hit, but when you see young artists, who you think from your perspective, whether it's in your circle or whatever, who you who you who you see rising up? Man, I don't know. I ain't gonna even lie. I don't see too many young niggas. Young niggas that they 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 drill. They don't drill music too heavy. I really don't listen to that type of music. Mm. But uh, I did fuck with One Up T though. Yeah, yeah. One Up real. T crazy. That's the, probably the one who I if I could pinpoint somebody. That's the one who I fuck with. No, nah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But it, when you think back though, like is that just the maturity because you used to be on some wild shit? Now you wouldn't never doing that. Yeah. You wouldn't never. You feel me <laughs> talking about? You feel me yeah. dropping names and spinning on? You feel me yeah. on ops and stuff like that? But in your own way, for that own time though, you used mm -hmm. to pop your shit a lot. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Um, yeah. How you like? Do you? Just how your what's your perspective on the youngins that that do that? Do you feel like man, it just take time? Like I respect I them, like I like what they doing, but yeah. I just feel like shit, nigga. That's what's selling. That's what's selling right now. Mm -hmm. I, I damn it, think you can't even. You probably can't get no deal if you ain't talking about that type of shit. Mm -hmm. That's it. But it's certain stamps. It's just, niggas be taking it too far. Niggas be dissing the dead and everything. Like yeah, we don't do that. Yeah, and I ain't talking about no other shit that's pending right now. I'm straight on all that shit. Nah, for real. You trying to go to jail? <laughs> um, in terms of features and stuff like that, mm. on these like on on you know with new music coming up, who you who you want to work with? Shit, I ain't shit. Everybody who I want to work with, I work with. And, uh, yeah, my best feature for I, you know me and why I got some shit that's crazy on the way. So that's probably one of my favorite songs right now. That's hard, but yeah, everybody who I want to work with, I really work with. That's so, oh shit! Hey, I pull a face, face, bring your ass back out here. Come tap in, boy. Baby face, because <laughs> he, he been going ape shit right now. Uh, bro, been going hard for real. Yeah. And and I and I'd be remiss. You feel me? Um, of course at your own discretion, bro. But we can't have you on a platform, bro. Yeah. Somebody that's who you are, that stand on what you stand on, bro, and just completely ignore what's going on in the city of Detroit <laughs> right now. You know what I mean? I know what you about to talk about. <laughs> you know, um, and to in order to word it properly, it's been uh, back and forth between two mm -hmm. historical giants. You feel me? In Detroit culture, mm -hmm. if you know, you know. We ain't gonna go into details on exactly what's taking place. Mm -hmm. However, it's some stuff taking place, bro. That's shaking up the city right now, mm -hmm. and it's putting a lot of people in you know, a sticky situation mm -hmm. in terms of lightweight trying to figure out whose side to choose or who's mm -hmm. right and who's wrong and what's truth and what's not truth. Mm -hmm. When you see this type of stuff going on, man, for a city that has been able to keep our dirt or our beefs and stuff like that quiet and suppressed, mm -hmm. but now for it to be on national, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, all over the place, man. What's your, what's your perspective on it? Man, that shit really is fucked up, especially with the, the two particular individuals. It's like, I ain't even never see this coming. You know what I'm saying? I, I, shit, I was talking to, I just, like I said, I was just down there. I had a conversation with him. He, he was telling you, like, man, I ain't even, uh, we just talked our little shit. For sure. I guess dog took it an extra step and now it's, now it's spiraling out of control. So, but that shit heartbreaking, bro. I just, it was the shit. That's my favorite group from out the city. Hell yeah, that's a lot of people favorite. You know what I mean? Favorite group out the city, man. Um, I hate to see that. Yeah, like I just wish. I just hope it don't get serious. And that's my thing too. Like for me personally, I think the unfortunate thing about it, as OGs, mm -hmm. you feel me? Um, man, it's a lot of criticism that take place for young guys that do this type of shit. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Even, you got people, they ain't even know, them niggas ain't even know internet niggas for real, like. So how did it get here? And, and that's the and that's the thing. Like <clears throat> I was sitting, I was debating. To, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, damn. Like I know anything that I do post. You feel me? I you know the team. We got a way of creating it to where it's not messy, mm -hmm. but we can still cover it. You feel me? But in my mind, I'm like, damn. If if we cover the story. I know for a fact that certain OGs is still gonna feel some type of way, but I'd be scratching my head because I'd be like, damn, how can you mm -hmm. when you taking it to the yeah. you know what I mean? Like when it's when it's public for everybody to see, and it's like, I just wish, um, I just wish that shit could cease and just man, me stop, too. bro. You feel and me? And I feel like, man, like when, when, when problems come around, the the internet make it worse, bro. It's like once you put it out there and everybody can see it, yeah. now you got a million different opinions, motherfuckers wasting what they got, and they fuck up. You're like, them niggas probably could have just talked to each other without the internet. 100%. Yeah, that shit. The internet amplify everything, though. 100%. In terms of, like, <clears throat> even with the call, you know, to do an interview or to talk about the history and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then, um, the interview actually happens. Mm -hmm. You know, what's your thoughts towards, you know, the person that actually does the interview? You get what I'm saying? I and, mean, shit, you know, this it's part of the culture, so I ain't gonna lie. If I was a motherfucker, uh, a podcaster, what you call it, <laughs> I'd be trying to get them niggas too. Like, nigga, what's up? Come say what you got to say. Because, shit, it's business. It's still business, but it just fucked up that it happened to be, shit, some of my niggas, and it, it's personal. Man, you got a hell of a perspective, bro. I respect it because mm -hmm. you ain't one of them type of people that's out of touch, man. That's that's mm -hmm. so high. You get what I'm right. saying? To where you like, you know, you mm -hmm. making it make sense because that's what it really is, essentially. Like, you know, I don't think people understand. And it ain't even about chasing the money. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. a lot of people that do this social media stuff like this is a job now. Hell yeah. Like. People was paying their rent, yeah. car notes, and everything off of YouTube checks. This shit changing lives. You know what I mean? And it's no different than some paperwork. You feel mm -hmm. me? If, if if the state make paperwork public mm -hmm. where you can get access to it, mm -hmm. then it's the same thing with content. Yeah. If it's public, people should be able to make content mm -hmm. with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I would just encourage everybody, you know what I mean, if... If that's something that you don't want to be, you know what I mean, exploited or mm -hmm. or you know whatever the case may be, you know I think it'd just be you know best man just to you know what I mean just mm -hmm. to not entertain it, you know what it, I mean. I said well, you can either not entertain it, but if you do entertain it, make sure that you put in both parties side up. Like if yeah, the motherfucker, don't 100%. just keep putting one nigga shit up. Hundred percent. You got you got to put both of them. Don't pick and choose. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, bro. You yeah. you you on point with that. A hundred percent, man. Mm -hmm. So and, and and you know and wrapping up, you feel me? Like you said, upcoming music. You feel me? Promo run crazy. Um, what can people expect for you closing out this year? Message to all the fans, all the supporters. You feel man. me? Just everything right now. Run it down to them. Shit, my message to the fans is, but I appreciate y'all, all y'all who been rocking with me, who still rocking with me to this day. And uh, you already know I ain't about to let y'all down. So y'all about to have a lot to look for. Like I say, after after Halloween, every Monday. For what you got going on? Go type my name in on that Apple Music or Spotify, or wherever you at. Mike Mike Mondays. I'm dropping something every Monday. Real talk. Pete. <laughs> Ain't none of that shit gonna be weak either. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Foreign magazine, man. Post of the culture. Mike, Mike. That's what it is. Bumps!